Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this video, we are going to learn about something interesting and that is use SVG. Now, on your WordPress site or any other site for that matter, if you want to use an SVG and if the same SVG is being repeated at several places, let's say in the menu, then it is not always the best practice to keep loading the same SVG and repeating it on the same page, right? So for this reason, we use the use SVG element. So as you can see, the use element takes the node from within the SVG document and duplicates it somewhere else. So in this example, if you take a look, I'm going to do an inspect element. What we really do is we go ahead and load all of the SVGs used on this page at the bottom before the body tag uh, in, and we put that inside of the div with hidden with the class hidden so that it's its visibility is hidden as you can see over here right and then you have your LinkedIn SVG your Twitter and then your Facebook SVG so once you have put all the SVG at the bottom of the page then you can just reference it wherever you want so in this case it is being referenced here so you can see that inside of li we have this svg right and the way to use it is basically you just put use and then the id of that particular svg so whenever you are adding those svg like at the bottom of the page you give it an id so each of the svg will have an id and then you can reference it anywhere uh, on your page multiple times okay so if you look at the detail it kind of takes it and duplicates it so it so you can just place it once and then use it as many times as you want on the page right Now, there are a few things to keep in mind is that most attributes on use do not override those already on the element referenced by use, which means that if there are certain attributes uh, that are here, okay, they are not going to be overridden when you are referencing that, when you are using that SVG. So, for example, so except the attributes X, Y, width, height, and HRF, anything else will not be referenced. So as you can see that only X, Y, width, height, and HRF will be overridden and not any others. So for example, over here, the view box won't be overridden, okay? But, but in case if there are any other attributes that are not present in this SVG, those can be set on the referenced element, all right? So you can read more about it. I won't be going uh, deep into this, but uh, this is pretty useful. I'm just going to show you that in action, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our template parts and we are going to create a PHP file and we'll name it as content SVGs. Uh, you can put this into a folder also. It's completely up to you. I'm just putting it here just because this is just for tutorial purposes. So I've got content SVG and inside of this. So I'll put the comment later, but let's just focus on our work right now. Uh, so div hidden. And inside of this, I'm going to put all my SVGs. If you go back here, so I'm going to drop my SVG here just to copy the content. And then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'll give it an ID. So I'll give it an ID, let's say icon. And that's going to be LinkedIn. Okay. And then I'm going to just put a comment over here saying that icon LinkedIn. And then similarly, I'll do the rest. So here goes your Twitter, copy it, close it, give it an ID. And this is going to be Twitter. And this is going to be icon Twitter. And last but not the least, icon Facebook. And again, I'm going to paste it over here. I'm giving a comment so that it's easy to distinguish icon Facebook. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is basically include this template in the footer. And then you can just use it. 
So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll head over to my footer, so footer.php, and then I'll just organize this a bit. So I'll give this an ID and a class. I'll remove this. I'll give, put a div here. And then inside of this, I'll put row. And then, in fact, let's do three sections, so three column layout. Okay, and we're already using bootstrap, so that's good. I'm gonna place this widgets inside of the second one. And for the first one, I'll just put load and ipsum for now, but you can, you know, add whatever you want there, maybe a search bar or anything else. But for, for now, for demonstration purposes, I'm just keeping it as load and ipsum. And then down at the bottom, this is where we can uh, include our, this is where we can include our SVG. So we can see get, so we can say get template part and then this is inside of template parts and then content the slug is svgs svgs and then i'll leave this third column uh, as is for now and then i'm just going to include that those svgs so I'm just going to say get template part and then it's inside of the template parts and then content, just content and the slug is SVGs. So what this is going to do is going to load the um, SVGs over here at the bottom of the page and then I can use it wherever I want on the on the um, entire site because it's in, in the footer. So let's refresh. Let's go and check. You can see you have the div hidden. So there's your um, LinkedIn, SVG, you have your Twitter and you have Facebook. Now, of course, it doesn't show anywhere is because we have to use this use element, right? So how do we use it? Well, the first thing we're going to do is, so we're going to say UL LI into three. And then inside of this, we'll say a tag. And then HRF, we'll worry about that later. Title for for accessibility, so this is going to be LinkedIn. This is going to be Facebook. And you can put the Facebook URL here. Just putting it for now. Facebook. Facebook.com. And let's put Twitter. You can put your own URLs here. That should be fine. I'm just putting this for that, for demonstration purposes, and link it in. Okay, so this is going to be Twitter, and this is going to be LinkedIn. Okay, and then inside of this, let's uh, put that on next line, and. Okay, now inside of this, you just use that SVG. Okay, now to use it, what we're gonna do is we'll say SVG and then we'll say use. So remember, we have to use the use element over here. Okay, this one. And inside of use, we just need to pass an HRF. And for Facebook, we have this ID. So we'll use the ID using hash. So hash ID. And then similarly for these ones as well. So this is gonna be Twitter. And the last but not the least will be LinkedIn. The sequence in which these are placed uh, at the bottom of the page doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is how you are placing here, what's the sequence here, because that's this is what is responsible for displaying it, because this one, as you can see, there's a hidden class, so this all will be hidden anyways. So this is the referenced one. This is the referenced element. So this, is a, this will be a reference for the Facebook one, and similarly, uh, this will be for this will be for Twitter, and this is for LinkedIn. Okay, and you can use it as many times as you want. It's just going to be a reference. It's not going to be loading it. It'll just be a reference, so it's not going to be repeated. Okay, th there you go. You can see you've got your um, you've got your SPGs, but let's just put some style. So I'm going to say deflex because I'm using Bootstrap, and these classes will be 
unstyled list and this will be list unstyled and let's give it some width also so, so I'm going to say SVG and let's give each a width of 48 refresh there you go now you can see that you've got the width and notice that you can change the width over here uh, you can make it 50 over here as well so notice that the width got changed right and you can see it's shadow root so it's a reference of the SVG element down at the bottom all right here it's 48 but now if you check the width becomes 50 because it's overriding I remember what we discussed over here right that only the attributes x y width height and hrf on the use element will override those set on the referenced element now imagine that you would want those uh, icons here as well uh, in the menu you can do that all you have to do is just go to the nav bar maybe i'm just going to give you an example of one of them so let's go to header nav and down at the bottom just after this search form I'm gonna place this and see what happens so refresh there you go so now you can see that again it's referencing the same SVG element right it's not really using a different one which is great okay so I'm gonna remove that for now but you get the idea now if you're wondering that what if there are certain SVGs which are not going to be used in header and footer that are going to be used on that page itself do we really need to load those SVGs on each and every page? Not really. The best part about this templating system is that you can conditionally render the template. So currently, I need the these SVGs on all of the pages, maybe in the header and the footer. However, if there are certain SVGs which you think are going to be needed only on certain pages, what you could possibly do is just do a conditional tag like if single, if is single, or is singular or is category or is tag whatever you know if it's an archive page so you can use the conditional tags and then load the SVG conditionally all right but remember that in that case you will only be able to reference that SVG element on that page itself because you know the SVGs are being loaded at the bottom of the page only for that particular page all right so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye and if you would like to override the width uh, in this case let's say that so if you want to override the width, you have to give that to use element so if see notice that uh, currently it's showing 48 uh, to the SVG but the moment if I put use width 50 you'll notice that this becomes 50 here right all right uh, i don't necessarily need to override it but just so that you know all right perfect and this width i'm giving over here is for the outer width right for the spg